at XLC2 paper from 2006. Um, this is part two, questions six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, so there you go. Enjoy. Question six, part A. Now it says complete the table given the values of V to two decimal places. So you are literally using your calculator and putting some numbers into this formula here. Right, now that should be pretty straightforward. Um, in fact, I might even do that for you. So it's 3.80, only because I'm going to need them a bit later. Uh, 9.72 and 15.37. I think it says to two decimal places it does. There you go. Right, now once I've got those, I can now use them in the trapezium rule um, the trapezium rule uh, formula, which is out of the formula book again. Um, now that's the the height of the, as it were, of the trapeziums, which is 0 to 5, 5 to 10, so it's 5 over 2 brackets. Now it's the first plus the last uh, plus 2 times all the bits in between. So 1.22 plus 2.28 plus 3.80 plus 6.11 plus 9.72 all right again work it out carefully it's not too bad question seven all right find a y dx well that's pretty straightforward um so you can differentiate that now the reason the reason i'm gonna do this is because um, i'm going to need it later so we've got 6x squared minus 10x minus 4. Uh, using the result from part A, find the coordinates of the turning points. We'll make this, uh, make this here equal to 0. Make it equal 0 and solve it and factorise it. D2y dx squared, so the second, second derivative. Um, again, 12x minus 10. I'm going to do that hence or otherwise. Determine the nature of the turning points. So all you've got to do is substitute your values that you found for uh, part B into your second derivative here. Um, remember, if it is uh, less than 0, so d2y dx squared is less than 0, it's a maximum. All right, and if it's greater than 0, then you've got a minimum. All right, terrible writing, I can only apologise. Right, for question eight, it says find all the values of theta to one decimal place in the interval uh, zero to 360. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be, uh, it's, well, I, I'll start you off and see how you get on. So we've got five sine of theta plus 30 degrees equals 3. So divide everything by 5 plus 30 degrees uh, equals 3 fifths. All right, uh, then get sine of uh, so theta plus 30 and so sine to the minus 1 of 3 fifths uh, which equals, uh, and I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, 36.8 uh, 9 is it? Yes it is, 36.9. Now you should know that the sine curve looks something like this. All right, and so therefore, when we draw a line across there, you're going to have, this is this one here is your 36.9, but don't forget this one here, which is 36.9 away from 180. Okay, so you need to get and... All right, uh, where is it? 143.1. Right, and then take 30 away from both of them. So, all right, so I reckon I can leave you to do that. For part B, uh, find all the values of that. So, what you've got to be a little bit careful here about is tan squared theta. So, square root everything, you get tan theta equals plus or minus 2, all right? And 
Again, you should know that the tan graph looks something like this. This will be a terrible sketch. Oh no, hang on. There we go. That's not too bad for me. So at uh, plus two, you're going to get a couple of answers there. And at minus two, you're going to get a couple of answers there. So that would be two and that's minus two. Right, work them out. Uh, you, again, you're going to have four solutions. And finally, we have question nine. It says figure three shows the shaded region R, which is bounded by the curve uh, that, all right, and the line Y equals three over two. Points A and B are intersections of the line and the curve. Find the X coordinates of A and B. Well, all you've got to do is make uh, this, all right, bit equal to this and solve. And you end up with uh, A being, what's A, where is it, I worked it out, there you go, a half something, you don't need the Y coordinates, and B being uh, 3 over 2 something. Okay, that says find the exact area of R. So in order to find the area under the curve, we need to integrate, alright, from a half, to 3 over 2, uh, this minus 2x squared plus 4x uh, with respect to x, alright, which, uh, sorry, that's not a 1, that's a bracket. There you go, so integrate that, uh, swap in your values, and then take away this rectangle here, which is uh, 1 wide, isn't it? Okay, because half to 3 over 2 is 1 wide, and it's 3 over 2 tall. Alright, so that shouldn't be too bad too.